Hello, this video will demonstrate the use of scheme programming in ANSYS Fluent with the help of do loop. First of all, we will understand the scenario of the test case wherein we are going to use the do loop. The simulation that we are considering here was to study the flow disturbances caused by the buildings on the incoming wind. In our case, the wind is coming from the bottom corner and flowing towards the top corner. We have already done the simulation. Now only thing that remains is to get some post processing done in order to visualize the results. The best way to visualize the flow disturbances caused by the buildings will be by getting velocity contours or else a velocity vectors at different altitudes. Our idea behind this demonstration was to create some contours at different altitudes. In order to achieve that, I will be having some n number of z planes that is horizontal planes and then plot contours of velocities on those planes and finally capture those images and make a video from it. To get a better idea, let us first view the final video that we are going to achieve using the do loop. This is a change of velocity around the buildings as we go higher in altitude. Alright, so in order to achieve that, we have to do some coding. First of all, the plan behind it is, let's create some isosurfaces in horizontal planes and then take some pictures of velocity contours. Before we start working on the code, let us first do it manually and check how much time it's going to take. So in order to capture a picture, we need a isosurface first of all. So surface, isosurface, constants of mass in the Z coordinate. I have 0 to 150 meters. So let's create isosurfaces at every 1 meter. So I have to do this operation 150 times Z1, Z2, Z3 and so on. So this will consume a lot of time and manual effort. So let us do that in the code. And here is the code that I'm going to use. I'm going to use a do loop for generating isosurfaces in the Z coordinate with every x units. So let us first understand the syntax of the do loop. The do loop starts and ends here. It carries the name do itself. Here is the counter x been defined. Then it has been initialized by value 1. Now the counter is incremented by 1 in every instance of the loop. So this is the condition to exit the loop that is x is greater than 150 once x value reaches 151 the loop will end so we will get isosurfaces from 1 to 150 now talking about the expressions that needs to be written inside the do loop this little set of instruction actually means ti menu that is text un text input menu load string so it will just load a string, a set of characters into the text menu. That is this portion. As you must be familiar with this text window, we can do any sort of operations in Fluent using this test window. So we are going to do the same operations from the scheme file itself. We are actually inserting commands into the text menu using this tool. That is surface, then isosurface, Z coordinate, then comes the surface name, that is Z plane and tilde A. Tilde A will be replaced by the parameter X. This being a parametric form of the equation, we are inserting tilde A here, which will actually be replaced by the X value. The X value for the first instance of the loop will contain 1. So this is Z plane 1 then comes to empty inputs and then again the value this will be asking for the value 
so let's give a name z plane temporary from surface let's say one so enter just a simple enter empty instruction then again zone empty so now the iso value so the iso value is one so here we have again tilde i a which will be again replaced by the x value next to the first x and this x value in the first instance of loop will again contain one so this is how the parametric form of the equation is written just to make sure you have to also write that format has f at the start of your parametric command code now that this is understood let us proceed further once the iso surface will be created then our task is to set the surfaces on which the contours will be displayed then display the contours and finally save the contour picture so for that this do loop will again be run from x equals to 1 with x plus 1 as the increment till x is greater than 150 now again the same set of commands ti menu load string and the parametric form of the commands that starts with format has f into double quotes we have display set contours surface it will ask for the surface name that needs to be set so we are giving it z plane and tilde a tilde a again will be replaced by x so for the first instance x is 1 so our name will be z plane 1 we have created z planes from z plane 1 to z plane 150 so since this is going to repeat 150 times we will be setting these surfaces one after the another once this surface has been set the second statement will again go to display contour velocity magnitude now the contours has been displayed for velocity magnitude starting from zero value to the max value present inside the domain we have checked the max value from fluent and inserting it in the max field once this has been entered the contour will automatically be displayed then comes the last option for display save picture with a name so this is a name contour plane percent 4 n dot jpg percent n actually means the counter of the pictures taken till now since after starting fluent this is the first picture to be taken so percent n will contain the value 1 but why this 4 stands here it's very simple 4 is the number of digits in which the number should be displayed that is if it is 1 then it will be displaying 0, 0, 0, 0001 if it is 1000 it will be displaying 1000 0, 0, 0. this is just to provide a fixed number of digits into our numbering system so I suppose the idea behind the parametric form of equations and the extra inputs needed for the do loop has been understood quite well. Now let us run these loops in Fluent. So this has been saved in the format .scm which is the scheme format. So let us read the scheme file in Fluent by file read scheme for images .scheme. So I started creating the planes. So at this instance, it's actually doing this loop for creation of planes. It will continue doing that till 150 and then the second set of instructions will start. Now the second instructions have started for setting the surface should be displayed for contours and then the display of contours on those 
with these values of velocity magnitude and finally saving the pictures so if we see it is taking snapshots at different planes automatically if we go to the folder and I started creating those images here so in this way it is going to create 150 images and later on once the images have been created use any third party software to convert these images into video something like this Since you have a good control over do loop and the command prompt of fluent using this command, you can easily provide any commands, any inputs into the do loop which you might be doing using manual effort repeatedly. So this do loop would save a lot of time in fluent for each and every repetitive task needed to, that needs to be done for any kind of simulations. So this was just a demonstration of creating pictures but this can also be used for doing transient simulations for say changing settings at a particular set, set of time maybe for incrementing the temperatures at a different point of time n number of possibilities are there that can be used to reduce the manual effort by doing repetitive tasks using the do loop hope you learned some new techniques from our video and also enjoyed it Thank you.